think if you can move the ball in the midfield as quick as you can, as accurate as you can, then you'll definitely have to catch coaches' eyes, especially in Scotland. Being a right winger, Louis a left back, we always come up against each other in training and I just find it so hard to to get by him. He's just I don't know, he's he's obviously smaller but he's got good strength and good pace and a really good defender, I just always struggle to, to get by him when we play against each other in training. So for me, it'd probably be Louis Stevenson, yeah. Best derby I've played in would have been the under Neil Lennon when we beat Hearts 2 0. I scored that night as well. I'd say that was the, the best game because before the game, Lennon was dying to get one over on Craig Levine at the time, so we all knew what it meant, so there was there was no way, well, I think we knew in the there was no way we were going to lose that game that night, and that turned out to be that way. Yeah, I did feel pressure, but um, no too much pressure because all the first team boys, have, they've all been great with me and they all, they all talk to you when you got up and trained with the first team, so that did help a lot. Even like Scotty as well, if you've made a bad pass, he might moan, but after it, he'll say to you, like, he'll try and help you. He's only he's only doing it to try and help you, really. So yeah. just stuff like that on the pitch and, and off the pitch, um, they all just try and help. Especially for me, you want to be the, the player sometimes that fans are going home, going home talking about. That wee bit of, of brilliance that somebody might not try, like if you want to try something, try it on a football pitch. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but they can be the difference in, in winning or losing sometimes. Happy birthday to Happy you, Hamish. Happy birthday, Hamish. <laughs>